In this Bybit withdrawal tutorial video, I will show you how to withdraw money from Bybit to your local bank account, either you live in Nigeria or anywhere around the world. Follow my step-by-step -step process as I will show you in this video and you will not need to watch any other video. Before I start showing you how you can withdraw your money from Bybit, if you want to know some easy ways to make money with crypto, then make sure you watch my crypto videos that I have pasted in the description box below this very video. And in a few days from now, you too should have some digital coin to convert into Naira or any of your preferred currency and withdraw in your local bank account. I also have a full Bybit tutorial for beginners video where I also show you how you can create wallet address in Bybit so that you can use it to accept crypto fund from other people into your Bybit account and every other thing you need to know about opening a Bybit account. Remember that Binance no longer work in Nigeria but Bybit is a wonderful replacement which will not give you any issue at all. The full Bybit tutorial video will be waiting for you also in the video description below this video. Feel free to watch it after seeing this particular one. So to withdraw your crypto into your local bank account, log in to your Bybit account. Okay, so the first thing you want to know before you can make your withdrawal is that if you come to this asset tab here, now you will see that there are actually three kinds of accounts that we have here. We have the funding account, we have the unified trading account and the invest derivative account. Now you want to be sure that the money you are about to withdraw is in your funding account. If it's in any of these other accounts, you cannot withdraw it until you have transferred it from whichever account it is that it's inside until, um, into your funding wallet. So what I want to do right now is that I'm going to click on this funding account to check if this money is actually in my funding account. So as you can see here now that we, we still have a representation of those accounts here. So you can see that in my funding account, I have 34 points. 21 usd here okay so if your own is in unified or trading account okay for example let's come to unified trading now you see that my whole unified trading account is 0, 0.00 there's nothing there so let's assume that i had this money in this particular account and i want to move it to funding account what am i supposed to do all i need to do is to come to this transfer tab here i'm going to click on it Okay, so you can see here now, the reason why I may not be able to do anything here is because there's actually no money in my unified trading account. If there was money there once I, you know, cl um, click on this particular tab, I'm just going to add the amount that I want to withdraw or that I want to move from my unified trading account to my funding account and then I'm going to click on confirm and then it's going to move the money from the unified trading account to my funding account. And it, let's assume that yours is not a unified trading but an inverse derivative. All you need to do is to click the drop down arrow and then you're just going to select the inverse trading or uh, inverse derivative and then it's going to move to your funding account so that's how to go about that so you just want to be sure that your money is in your funding wallet before you can make any move okay so once that is done i'm going to come back to my funding account and then i'm going to come to withdraw tab here i'm going to click on that and then we can go on to the next stage of our transfer. So what I want to do now after I've confirmed this particular stage is that I want to come to this buy crypto here and then I'm going to come to P2P trading. I'm going to click on that. Okay, so once it takes me to this particular page, now you can see here that we have some options here. We have the buy option, we have the sell option. Of course, I don't want to buy in this case I want to sell so what I want to do here I'm going to click on the sell button okay once I click on the sell button I want to be sure that I know the particular coin that I that my money is existing in now I have my coin in USDT so if yours is not in USDT maybe Ethereum or whichever one you just go to click on the drop down arrow and then select the particular coin in which your money is in so mine is in USDT I'm going to leave it there now in the amount tab you're just going to enter an average of the amount that you are expecting so for example if you think you want to withdraw and that your usdt is going to be able to give you let's say between let's say twenty thousand naira to let's say fifty thousand naira but you're not sure you're not supposed to really be sure here it will not matter so for example the amount that i want to use to carry out this demonstration is around forty thousand naira but i am not so sure about that so i'll just come here and put fifty thousand naira okay now here is fifty thousand when I come to this euro section, I'm going to come here and choose Naira because I want to, you know, um, catch my own money in Naira. So I'm just going to scroll down and look for the Nigerian Naira. Okay, so here is it. I'm going to choose that. 
and here at all payment method i'm going to click on this drop down arrow and then i'm going to scroll down and select bank transfer and then i'm going to confirm okay so the final thing i want to do here which is very very important is that i would like to filter this result now this result you are seeing here are the different people that i want to sell my usdt to and then i'm going to catch my money in naira okay so what i want to do if you look at this now here is saying i'm ineligible to sell to this person now what happened here is that this particular person i might probably not have met one of the criteria that he has set um to anybody that wants to sell to him so for me to avoid this kind of issues i'll just come to this filter here i'm going to click on it so here it's saying show only verified advertisers okay so i'm just going to tick this box and then here it says show only eligible hard so i'm going to choose this one also so once i do this i will know that every result that is going to give to me are people that i can really sell to so i'm just going to confirm okay so you can see here that there won't be anything like in ineligible here again because i've already chosen the right people that i want to sell to and i'll be qualified or eligible to sell to them okay so here you can see here um we have number one you can see the different people we have here and you can see their prices and you can see their available limits and the rest and the rest of them so here if i just scroll down one thing you want to be sure to do before you pick a particular buyer is that you want to check up their orders and then you want to check up their completion rate so here you may not really have a lot of issues here because you have already filtered by verified buyers and here bybit is going to only display people that are really verified and most of them they will always be between 95 96 97 you know completion rate so that would not really be an issue so here you can see this one is he has had 2000 plus orders and then he has 96 percent rate in fact some people have up to 99 percent rate. you can see this other guy this one has over 4000 orders and he has 99 percent you know um completion rate so i'll just go for him okay i'll go for him and then i'm going to come here and i'm going to click sell usdt okay so here you can see here um all i need to do here is that i'm just going to type in here the amount of usdt that i want to sell so for this particular demonstration i'm going to click on 30. so you can see here that this one is not allowed because this guy said the minimum amount that he is looking for is 67 usdt as you can see so that means i cannot sell to this particular person so i'm just going to cancel it and then i'm going to look for another verified advertiser that i can sell to so let's try this other one okay so you can see here that this particular one is accepting to be to buy up to um, about 30 usdt and then as you can see here that i will sell 30 usdt and then i will receive 44,099 naira okay so one thing you can do is that if you are not satisfied with this amount you can go ahead and look for other people that you can sell to and then if you are satisfied with this amount all you need to do is to come here and click add a payment method but if you already had your payment method on bybit before now you will just go ahead and you know uh, complete this particular selling so what i'm going to do here is that i don't have any payment method on this account yet so i'm just going to click on add a payment method and then i'm going to scroll down to this place where it says add now i'm going to click on that and then i'm going to add my payment method here i'm going to select my bank i want to use gtb here so i'm just going to impute every other thing here but in this particular name as you can see here is asterisk as very important you want to make sure that you impute the exact name of the account that you want to receive this money into it is very very important and then here you want to add your bank account number okay for bank branch it's not really very important you can just leave that as it is and then here you want to add the bank name and then once you have added all of those ones you're going to click on confirm okay so here is asking for my two-factor authentication whichever one you use you just go ahead and confirm this account so i'm going to do mine all right so now my account has been you know successfully added to this particular account so i can go ahead and complete my transaction all right so once you had your payment method and you're sure that your payment method is correct all you need to do is just to come back here and then i'm going to click on the p2p again okay so this time again i'll just come back again and make sure that all of my filters here are correct 
So here, what I can actually do here to make this easy for me to transfer is that I can come to this place and actually, instead of using bank transfer generally, I can come here and look for my bank. Okay, so if I registered GTB in this account and I want somebody that can just transfer to my GTB account, I can just come here and look for GTB. Okay, so here is it. I'm just going to click on that. And I'm going to just confirm that. So it's going to filter this result to people that can actually pay me in GT. So here I'll come back to this filter. And again, I'm going to select these two boxes. I'm going to confirm it again. And then I'll just come here. So let's just try this guy and see. So here I'm going to say, okay, it's selling for 1463. If I feel that that is okay, can just come here and click on sell USDT. Okay, so here I want to sell 30 USDT. So here I'm going to be getting for the three thereabouts. So if I'm okay with this price, all I need to do is to come to this particular place and then I'm just going to click on select. So you can see here that I have GTB here. Once I click on sell, what is going to happen is that Bybit is going to send a message to this particular buyer. And then this particular buyer will actually go ahead and pay the money, this particular amount of money, into my bank account. The way it works is that you are not supposed to release your USDT or any of the coins that you are trying to sell until you have received a payment alert from your bank and you have proven that you have received this money. So immediately you receive this money, all you need to do is to just complete the transaction by releasing your coin, okay, to this person. So the way it works is that by being make sure that you would have received your money before you release your coin. And you must make sure that immediately you get your transaction, you want to release your coin immediately because if you don't do so, this guy is going to report you back to this website. And if he does that, they are going to do their verification and then they are going to flag your account. And that is exactly what you don't want. So this is how easy it is for you to be able to convert your digital money, your digital coin into your local currency and then you can catch it in your local bank. So this is how it works. So please, if you enjoyed this video, please don't leave without giving this video a like. It's going to help YouTube push this video to more persons who are looking for this kind of information. And if you want to have more details on how to do crypto or you want to learn digital marketing to make money, better your business in general, then why not? You should subscribe to my channel and turn on the alert bell so you get to know when I release my next video. Also, I want to remind you that you should not leave without watching the videos that I recommended for you. The link to those videos are in the video description below this very video. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.